Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Crafty Terrain. My name is Lee and today we're going to be doing a painting tutorial for the Imperial Special Forces. Basically, uh, I did a painting tutorial for Cad Bane way back now um, and people have enjoyed it so I thought I'd do another one and there's some very simple techniques in this video that can really help your uh, painting skills improve basically. And it's around textures on a mini. Um, and we're going to be using varnishes to create them texture, so it's quite interesting, but it's very easy to do. As I said, the paint scheme is very simple, a bit of dry brushing and a wash and a couple of highlights, and then we go in with the varnishes. So, hope you enjoy. Any questions, let us know down in the comments. Okay, so today we're going to be painting the ISF for the Imperials from Star Wars Legion. Um, and if we take a look at the model, this is the unit leader, and this is the one we'll focus on. And I've got the squad down here. I might use the squad for reference points as we go through the video. Um, basically, it started off with Citadel Chaos Black uh, Primer. And then the next stage, what I'm going to look to do is um, to hit all the cloth. And all we're going to do is dry brush. So if we look on the armor, and the main reason I'm doing the video is to show you how you can use varnishes and stuff to create texture on a mini. And we're going to start by doing the cloth which if I use my paintbrush to point out, it's going to be all on the legs here. It's in between the plate armour and it's on the sleeves around this area here, okay? So I'm starting with, uh, this is a Vallejo Panzerace's dark rubber, okay? Any dark grey will do. Um, and we're going to be dry brushing and for that I just use an old makeup brush. Okay, nice and cheap because they get ruined to dry brushes very easily and when I mix for dry brushing I always mix on a piece of cardboard uh, not a wet palette because I like the paint to be quite dry helps with the dry brushing I guess to that just apply a little bit to your brush I'm sure we all know this technique by now but if you don't just wipe off the majority okay if you're just really just going for a quick tabletop standard, you can skip this stage and go straight to a lighter grey. I usually find this helps build up the layers a little bit more. Then all you're going to look to do is come in and then just pick up the surface of the cloth, like so. Okay, it's quite hard to pick up at the moment here, but towards the end of when we hit with the lighter layer, you can see it way better. Don't worry if you go on anywhere out like the gloves or anything like that where it shouldn't be because we can just come back in and hit that with a uh, black before we go to the next stages anyway. Okay, that's coming along quite nice. I'm going to go around and finish off. Okay, also once you've done the cloth you can hit the gun with this same grey to start bringing out the details on the gun. You can either use a grey or you can use a metallic if you want. Um, I've gone off metallics and gone to the greys just because when you varnish the model the metallics always don't, don't look very good at the end. So I've started just using greys to, to give the gun that highlighted effect. So I'm going to go around and do all the rest. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to be using a lighter grey and we're going to be using uniform grey now from Army Painter and I'm just going to hit the cloth again um, but a much finer dry brush this time and I'm just using this small dry brush from Army Painter for this. So again, just put a little bit of paint onto your card and follow the same practice. Brush your tip of your brush through and wipe the majority off. If you want to check you can always use the back of your hand to see how much paint's coming off and that'll sort of give you an indication of how much will be on the mini also okay then i'm just going to take the mini and then just very finely now touch them surfaces of the cloth and this will put a finer highlight in and then what we're going to do later on we will tone these highlights down with a black wash and then that'll just give you a nice dusty cloth look, okay? Ok, 
Okay, so with that all done, now what I'm gonna use is some Citadel Noon Oil, and I'm just gonna wash that cloth now and shade it all back down. And this will just push this into the recesses, brush it all over. Don't need to go too heavy, like so. And this will just calm that uh, draw brush down and give it like quite a nice natural dusty but used cloth look. So with the wash all dry now, the cloth's looking nice and dusty. And then what I like to do is just take some of the uh, uniform gray again on my brush. And I'm just gonna do a very, very fine dry brush over the top now, just to pick up the very highest edges on the cloth. Okay, I'm literally just touching the mini with the brush. And that will do for the cloth. You can pretty much leave it at that. Um, the next stage what we want to do now is to go around and paint in the black on all of the armor. Okay, so to paint the armor and the gloves and the boots, everything back black, the helmet, I'm just using Army Painter Matte Black. Um, I'm using a wet palette, it's like a homemade wet palette and uh, keeping the black nice and thin, what we're gonna look to do is then just come in, be careful now not to get anything on the cloth, because hopefully we're done with the cloth and we won't have to return or, or making any mistakes. And then just all the bits where you've dry brushed onto the gloves, the areas that we want actually to be a solid black, just need to go back over them in Okay, now, so with all the uh, plate armor um, done nicely black, the next stage is to paint on the red details. So I'm using heavy red from Below Game Color, extra opaque. Um, and what we're gonna do is mix that up on my wet palette. Don't need much. And then just mix in a tiny bit of water on my brush. It's nice and thinned watered down so we don't want to hide too much of the details and then what I'm going to look to do is pick out some designs on the helmet so this little bit here is going to be red and then I'm going to paint the edges of the like fin on the helmet um, 
and then there's these little, if I bring this up nice and close, these little circles on the shoulder pads. You can buy um, decals to put on them, but I'm just gonna paint that in red. And then there's the shoulder plate here as well. So we start on the helmet, I'm just gonna paint in this thin red here. Because the paint's watered down, you may want two coats. You're better off doing two thin coats than one thick, guys. Paint this whole shoulder pad. Don't worry about the lines in between. We're gonna come back with some black wash and put the lines in. Okay, and then down the legs, I'm just gonna put a thin red stripe. There is a seam on the trousers, just follow that seam down and just freehand that red line in. For the helmet, I'm just going to use the tiny, I've got a little bit of paint on the brush, and I'm just going to use the side of the brush to pick up the very edge. If this ends up too thick, it doesn't matter because you can go back in and tidy it up with some black. You just want to get that thin edge applied first. And then I'm painting these three little. Uh, look, raised bits on the front of the helmet. Okay, so you've got the base on there really, and I can come back and tidy that up. If you've not got a steady hand and you're not neat enough, you could just paint the whole of this pointed fin here in that color, and it would still look quite nice on the mini. So I'm just gonna paint this red circle in red.
And that's sort of like the red, all the red that we need on. I mean, to give it its detail. Okay, so what we're looking to do now is just come back in with the matte black and sharpen up the lines on the head here, just so they're nice and thin. Fill that, like the black triangle back in, in the middle. bring that up you can sort of see now how it's looking sort of nice and sharp okay and the final thing I'm just looking to paint red is the glow in the eyes okay so just nice and carefully just a little bit of paint on your brush just look to paint in the eyes and then follow the same process if you have made any mistakes and gone onto the helmet just fill it back in with the uh, canvas black it's just a little bit there under the eye And that is all the red that we need to do. Okay, so next stage, what we're gonna be doing is using some uh, Army Painter Dragon Red, and I'm just gonna be using that to just highlight up um, some of these red areas. Um, I'm gonna leave the eyes as they are. I don't want them any brighter, so I just sort of want them to blend into the helmets, but the shoulder pad and the stripe on the uh, trousers and stuff like that, you just pick it up a little bit, just to make it pop a little bit more, okay? so. Um, as you can see there's lines in here on the uh, shoulder pad just highlight each one of them a little bit still at this point if you make any mistakes and slip onto the black armor you can just go back in and um, adjust that and paint it back to black again we are going to put a wash after this highlight layer over this shoulder pad so it should look even more like it's um, standing out. And then again, same on these little circles. Paint in the center of them. And then just down the one thin line, down the stripes on the pants. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the black wash 
over the shoulder pad and that will help fill in them detailed lines. Might need two coats. See how it looks after the first. And then also, I'm just gonna apply some black wash into the eyes just to calm the eyes down a little bit because they are too, too red. If you look at the Special Forces helmets, it's like the eyes have that red tint to them, like they are visors and obviously they can see through them. So that's why you don't want them to be too red and in your face. I'm just gonna let that layer dry and then I'm gonna come back and put a second layer over the shoulder pad. Okay, so that second layer is dried now. It's really calmed that red down on the um, shoulder panel here. So now we're going to come back in with our dragon red and just put it on that up. Um, just be careful now, just really need to just pick out the lines. You can use just use any combination that you want really it doesn't doesn't matter just sort of pick a pattern a couple that are white And there we have just the, the colours painted in. That's a bit of colour and a, there's not much going on on these minis. That's why I like to use the varnishes to create the texture. You know, they're just red and black. 
Um, but this is a nice simple paint job, you know, not going to win no awards, but one then, once the varnish goes on, they do look really, really nice on the tabletop. Okay, let's move on to the varnishes. Hey, so now we're ready to apply some of the varnish and create them textures. And the varnishes we're going to be using is the Vallejo brush and range. This is a matte and that will leave you with no shine. You have satin and that leaves you a little bit of a shimmer. And then you have the gloss and that leaves you that high shine. And that's the one we're going to be using um, on the armor. I've already mixed some matte into a little pot. This is an old takeaway pot. And then I'm just going to be using an older brush. It's still decent. Um, it's a size two, the tip's not good on it, but it's okay to get onto the cloth. And I picked these brushes up off uh, Amazon. They was nice and cheap, you get a big pack for like 12 pounds. Using a damp brush, not wet, so I've washed it to clean, clean water. And I've sort of let it dry so there's not much moisture in the brush. Then all we're looking to do then is just dip your brush in the varnish. And then we're just looking to brush onto the cloth areas, okay? Because that's what we want the matte finish on. So that'll be all the trousers just apply it and it's white when it first goes on like a thin milky layer and then just move that around so you've covered all of the areas okay this will give you that matte finish and this will protect the mini from like chipping and uh, paint coming off when you're handling it and when you're wargaming and stuff like that okay uh, once you've got it on to the areas that you want don't uh, keep moving it around okay just let it dry naturally just push it to where you want, cover all of the areas and then leave to dry, okay? So it's all the cloth areas that we're looking to do on this mini, so the sleeves and I'm also going to paint this um, shoulder pad matte as well. I'm doing the mat and the uh, layer first because if this does go on any of the armor when you apply the gloss afterwards you still will get that gloss finish and it'll be okay plus the cloth is like the deepest layer on the mini so the um, armor will be the lighter layers and more out okay and then I'm just gonna let that dry and we'll come back and do the satin layer next Okay now, so if we take a look, that matte varnish is dried now, it's clear, there's no shine to the cloth and it's looking good. The next stage now is I'm gonna use the satin and that I'm gonna be using just on the boots, the gloves, the belt and the gun, okay? Um, and these little boxes on their chest as well. And then that'll leave the helmet and the armor to paint with the gloss so just follow exactly the same process small amount on your brush and then just apply to the areas that you want and you can see the difference in the varnish this has a little bit more of a like, shine to it straight away when it goes onto the model cover that on all the area be careful now when you come up to the areas of cloth that you've already varnished we don't want to get any back on the cloth otherwise that will leave a bit of the cloth shiny and it will really stand out okay if you do make any mistakes it's okay let it dry and then just apply the matte varnish back over the mistake and that will dull down the shine
Okay, so we're gonna move on to the final layer now, and that is gonna be the gloss, okay? Give it a good shake. I've put a little blob into my pot already, and I'm using a smaller brush now. This is a, a zero in size, because I don't wanna make any mistakes now. And now I'm just gonna hit all the helmet and the chest plate. This looks shiny already once it goes on. Okay, so we're getting close to being done now. I've started the base work and I'll come back and I'll show you when the base is done and how it all nicely looks, but that glass is all dry. The armor's beginning to shine and really nice now. Um, but I've wanted to add something else and I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. I've got this nice brown base going on and I thought I'm gonna weather the boots just to break up some of this black a little bit. So I've got some Beastie Brown. This is from uh, Get Vallejo Game Color. It's this one um, and I'm just gonna sort of stipple slash sort of dry brush this onto the boots okay I've just tried it on one of the other troopers in the uh, unit to see if I like it and I think it looks quite good so dry most of the brush off then what we're gonna look to do is just sort of just stipple this and flick it onto the boots around the bottom and that'll give you that muddy weathered sort of look to the boots I just add a bit more detail and realism to the mini and it's looking quite good I think I might add a, a variant of a different brown in there as well and you can do this as heavy or as light as as you want really to create that look that you want to go for just bring that a little bit closer to the camera and get it to focus for you you can sort of see on the boots now. It looks like they've been traipsing through the mud. The special forces may have to do from time to time. I'm gonna get the base finished and then I'll show you how it looks. Okay, let's have a little close up look at the mini now. So you can see all the detail that we've put on there with the uh, varnishes. As you can see, look, the helmet's nice and shiny. So is the chest plate. And then the rest of the stuff, like the cloth, it's dampened down because of the matte varnish. Again, it's a very simple paint scheme, but hope you agree that that looks very nice it's got a nice base on it a bit of weathering on the boots if we take a look at some of the other squad we'll take a look at the heavy weapons just so you can see how they all sort of turned out they're going to look really nice on the table and it hasn't taken us much time or much effort hope you've enjoyed that guys and learnt something okay so that completes the video hope you've enjoyed it please leave us a like consider subscribing 
And like I said, if there's anything you wanna know, get down in the comments and I'll try and help you out down there. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.